We're at Outdoor Ram, we're gonna check out Big Buck Night, but all these bucks and elk and every one of these were found interlocked from fighting. Absolutely crazy. Giants too. Crazy. pond here got the kids trying to catch them they got to learn how to do like the Bessie River and floss <laughs> no it's a good time for the kids bring them out here oh she had one she had one that's cool that's cool Like getting to know all the people that they got shoulders on there's a white record blue Wow. Where'd that come from? Big buck night, here we come. Yeah, Big buck night. <laughs> from wherever you're standing. And this is a little bit different. So three flat times we go in order of kind of the smallest and biggest. But this one is a different kind of story, so we thought we'd just start to show up with you. Kyle, tell us kind of how you uh, end up with this buck. Well, uh, I came home from work one day and uh, I looked out my backyard and there was a uh, dead deer back there. I uh, walked back there with uh, Cole and the audience over there and um, came to be this monster. So, <laughs> so uh, you are a hunter? Uh, I am a hunter, yes, and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to shoot this one, but. <laughs> Yeah, uh, looked at the, uh, maybe got hit by a car, you know, struck broke the leg. Um, oh, man. Yeah, and what was that, the 170? Yeah, 177. Yeah, mass on that thing. He was kind of high to us, so he started moving pretty quickly. Wow, they came. Nice. Yeah, they took a lot of time. All right, we've got young Nathaniel Turbush here, 16 years old. We've got a, a good story going on, I can already tell. But we've got a 120 inch buck and a 130 inch buck from Washtenaw County, both taken with a 450 Bushmaster. And tell us what's going on, that's a really unique mount. Yeah, so that was my new season deer. So my parents first purchased a new piece of property and we've been hunting it for a little while, but we hadn't had much success. But I said, well, I might as well just go out there and try. So we were sitting there and it was pouring rain. I looked at my brother and I said, I don't know got some real nice box in here. I got on my phone, stopped like paying attention, started raining harder. And then I just happened to look up and saw like the grass move. And I just thought it was another piece of grass. And then I threw up the binoculars and realized it was a deer and it stepped into my lane. Yeah. Congratulations, Nathaniel. Great season. <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest one here. I mean, that girl over there got some tiny length. Oh. Okay. Jaden Sturdy is our next hunter here. This buck scored 120 shot in Calhoun County with a 350 legend. Jaden, is this your first buck? Yes, second year. Hunter. Little fella. Wow, that got is himself awesome a stud. Can you tell me what happened on this hunt? <laughs> <laughs> There's the story. <laughs> so you were hunting with 350 Legend. Were, was it, uh, were you in a blind or you know, out, like, sitting next to a tree or what were you in? We were in a blind. And how far, did you see him for a long time or did he come in really quick? We saw him kind of. Maybe a long time. Maybe a long time. Maybe. Did you get nervous when you saw him? Did you know he was that big? No. No, you didn't get nervous? No, I was just watching um, a doe on the other side of the field. And he, my papa said, 
big buck, big buck. And then I turned around and said, oh. <laughs> so who was more excited when you first saw the back your dad or you, Brian? Um, <laughs> and then tell me what happened. Did, 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 how, was it a long shot, a pretty close shot? Um, long shot. Long shot, okay. Well, Dad, fill me in a little bit on uh, what, what else happened on the Sunday. Uh, we had him set up in the tripod. <clears throat> the deer came out, of course, on the opposite side of the blind. So I pulled the gun on the tripod, and went over right to the other side, and held the end of the gun up. He did all the rest, and sat back and shot at 50 yards. Nice. And so and when you walked up on it, who was more excited at that point? Me. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you going to shoot a buck this big every year? Yes. <laughs> well, I hope you do. Let's give Jake a round of applause for one heck of a buck. First one, Big Buck was taken by Cameron Perry, who is now 10 years old, but he was 9 years old during the hunt. Very important at that age. Hillsdale County, 144 inch 10 point with his 20 gauge. So, Cameron, this is gauge, your nice. first deer? Yes. And how many times have you been hunting? This is my first time hunting. Wow. First time hunting, first deer. Isn't that something? So, who were you hunting with and where were you? I was hunting uh, with my dad. We first time ever hunting. Two corn fields. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. High expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Your life. Your mom's tree stand. Like that, yeah. Did you guys know these good guys out there? No, we did not. Okay, so tell me what happened when you guys saw him. What, ha what was the conversation like in the blank? So That's when big. I heard something to nice my part. right, I was in the right of the tree stand and I was in the left. I heard something, I looked over, I saw a buck. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> I um, turned to my dad and said, Dad, Dad, there's a deer. He um, grabbed the gun, um, he pointed it at the deer. I was nervous that I said, uh, you can take the shot. <laughs> they said, no, you take it. it. Took me a couple <laughs> seconds to aim it on the chest. So, how are you feeling after that? What was your emotion like? I was like, whoa. Like, whoa. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. Your first year. So, what are you going to do next year, you think? I'm probably going to go head out there again. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's give Cameron a round of applause. It's amazing. There's so much. I don't know if you'll be able to see all of this on camera. All sorts of stickers and points everywhere. 17 scoreable points. Brian Brain from Bay County, 153 5.8 inches on November 19th with your 350 legend. And you said November 19th was kind of special too, right? Yeah, yeah. November 19th was actually my birthday. Awesome. Beautiful birthday, Buck. So did you Hell yeah. get out there? So the funny story is, we actually watched this deer all summer on the campus, and right before bow season, he disappeared. And so that morning, I got up, checked my cell phone, and I just came back to the property, and found a doe. And so we went came back for the morning, came home. Um, yeah. My actually, my uncle came out to hunt with me and my little cousin Tyler, who's twelve. They sat in a different spot, and they knew the deer was out there. I told them, I said, if you see the deer, you have to take a shot because this is such a big deer. He disappeared for a couple months. And um, I turned around at 745, and there he was. And one shot with the 350 Legend. He jumped, he bucked, he mule picked. Um, he jumped into the brush, and that was it. How far away was he when he shot? 60 yards. Oh, 60 yeah. 60 yards. Right inside that, that oh, yeah, zone. Out. So then <laughs> I was just in shock. I couldn't believe it. This deer had been gone for over two months, and then he came back. They and do that yeah, they leave their summer that. pattern, go out it looking for so does. Come back home. So, celebration after yep. that, I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations, Brian. Okay. They got him. Lots of luck. Just like they did here. Right. Yeah, he got the ducks, and that deer would have been in the 170s. Jason should have brought it in. Oh, look at this one. Hell of a deer, buddy.
policy doesn't sort of show. I got all your short fifty five here. Amy Beamer is our next hunter here. Wow. This one scores 156 and 4 hits by Calhoun County. Again with a 350 legend. Amy, tell me what happened like, on this. I think this one was a knee duck. So they, it was they got opening day, and he came out about 120 yards from me, started across the field, started to come straight to me. Before he turned and started to trot off, I was able to get him to stop at 40 yards. Nervously pulled the trigger for a click. Big mistake, rookie mistake for someone who's been hunting so many years. He took off to 93 yards, and I was able to put a hard shot on him and left maybe another 20. Well, okay, my nice. what, what was the click? I think that one racked. <laughs> the last few years, I've done bow hunting, not so much guns, so I'll use that as my excuse. So, yeah, what was it? Um, this were you doing uh, yourself, Melissa? I was. My fiance was sitting maybe uh, half a mile away. I might have called him fussing like a sailor after that, but we got the job done. Now, did you ever think about concealing the whole clip thing? No. It's not a story. It's funny, so why not? Now, tell me a little bit about have you shot a lot of big rocks, or is this first one? Or? This is the biggest I've ever shot. I've you know, since I was 14. There's something else here. Look at that. Um, so let's age myself 18 years, and this is the biggest one that's ever been taken. Wow, so what was the celebration like afterwards? Um, it was a little shock. Got him waited in and uh, celebrated after that. And you can see how romantic you your first time how big he was? I didn't realize he was the big one. My fiance had seen him opening day bow season, and nobody had seen him since. So we thought he was long gone, either a car or somebody else took him, but he was still out there. No, congratulations on the book of a lifetime. Amy Beamer, 156 from Calhoun County. Nice job. Nice job. Our next lucky hunter is Lily Miller. This one scores 153 from Livingston County with a 350 legend, a popular round this year and last year, or I guess for a few years now. Lily, tell us what happened with this monster buck. It's got some long times. Uh, well, we saw it first when I was at the youth hunt, and then we ended up spooking away. So open in the morning, and we were looking north all morning because some doves were playing out in the field. And I had to look over south just to see what's out there. And he had his head hanging low coming out of the corn. I was like, Dad, 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 I think there's a book out here. He was like, Put your gun out the window. And he said, Wait till it gets off some of the big, uh, he had some long grass. He was like, Wait till it gets off long grass. How far was he at that point? Uh, I had 110 yards out. He uh, lifted his head up, got out of the grass, and I was like, All right, he's ready. And took the shot, ran about 50 yards, and hit behind a tree. Wow, and so you're pretty calm telling the story. Was it, were you pretty calm when it happened? Um, I was calm um, while I shot it, and then afterwards I couldn't even think. I was so nervous. And then when we went out to find it, I couldn't, we couldn't find blood for a long time. I was like, there's no way I missed this deer, not this one. There's I can't no, miss this one. A lot of times you don't see blood. Yeah. I was nervous then at that point. Yeah, I was nervous. Was this your dad then on the recovery? Uh, yeah, she knew my dad, but it ran into our neighbor's property, and lucky he was in the trees. Oh, it's over here, it's over here, so yeah, we were able to find it. And how many deer have you taken before? Oh, this is my first ever deer. Oh, first ever deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a, uh, seems to be a theme tonight. Well, let's give Lily a round of applause for her first deer of life. When I shot that one, I got mounted. I was like, I'm going to shoot tons of these. Ten years later. <laughs> I'm gonna shorten these up a little bit, but there's another tank. All right, check out this monster bug. Lots of character going on here. Carl Marat from Kelvin County, 159 and a half inches, 12 scoreable points. Opening day of firearm deer season with your 450 Bushmaster. 450. 350s are whack and oh, stacked. Uh, I shot him about quarter to nine. Um, I'd seen him twice during bow season. Uh, once I had him. Uh, Opening morning, uh, my buddy was. That's her fiance right there, got a hog too. Yeah. What her bus shots. And oh, yeah. Jake Sammons is our next hunter. This one scores 160 and 5 8 out of Ingham County with a compound bow. The there we go, bow well, hunter. And this buck, if you can see, has some really unique points and features about it. So, uh, Jake, tell us what kind of happened on this hunt. And did you know that buck was around? Another big tank. So far, all right, Jake Sammons with a 160 wow. monster. Nice job. All right, we've got a big, wide, tall buck here. I'm talking about the rack, but you're pretty tall too. That's a wide. 
Sorry. Okay. Josiah Sanger, 161 and 3 eighths inches, was 10 points from Hillsdale County. You're 13 years old. You shot him with a 450 Bushmaster on December 9th. And so, how many seasons have you been hunting? Um, I've been hunting with my dad pretty much since like seven or six. Okay. So tell us what happened. This is is this your first buck? No, my third. Okay, nice. So tell us what happened on the hunt. So I went out hunting and I was just sitting in my stand. I was like, oh, God, please let me get a big buck. And then I opened my eye, looked to my right. Oh, there you go. Wow. So I grabbed my gun. Okay, ready? I'm like. There's a, there's a, like a little buck that's chasing it. So it just starts to snow, like snow just starts coming down. I get my duck gun, I take a shot, and I was like, oh man, I missed. I was like, I missed, I missed. So I, I get down, and we get down, and we walk about 100 yards, find a puddle of blood, we're in the ground, digging up through the snow, trying to find some blood and everything. So. Now, who were you tracking with? Who was out there with you? My brother-in-law. Like, finding the blood, digging up the snow, because it's snowing really hard right as it's shot it, so all the blood is on the snow, terrible to track. So we just started crying, so. Nice day, everybody. 13 years old. All right, Jake and Cameron Rizkala are our next, well, I guess one of them's a lucky hunter, one of them's just a kind of up here to have moral support. And Jake was here back in 2014 with a monster buck as well. So obviously your spot in Washington County is pretty good. This is a, a scores 165 shot with a compound bow. Let's hear the story, young fellow. Yeah, so uh, nothing like 2014. That was a long drown out ordeal of a bunch of trail camera pictures. And this one here we only had three pictures of, uh, all in the middle of the night, nothing crazy. And I actually had shot a nice 11 pointer the night before I killed this one. <laughs> and, uh, we're all hanging out in the garage, and my buddies, my neighbors are over there, and you're like, hey, you don't really seem that excited, you know, 130 inch 11 pointer, you know, I should be stoked. But I seen this deer twice the week before, walking around in the stands, and uh, stared at him at 40 yards, drew back on him already, and I just couldn't get the deer off my mind. I mean, so I ended up making my way out there the next morning, and uh, literally first light, I'm dead tired from hanging out with the boys the night before. And uh, I'm sitting there in a tree stand half asleep. I look over here, crunch, crunch. The deer's staying about 60 yards, just kind of looking into to the bedding area. And uh, I'm not really thinking That's too right, much about it. That's right, get closer to the bedding areas. I, I reach up to grab my bow, and I didn't know there was a doe right underneath me. So I reach up to grab the bow, the doe starts snorting, jumping around. Well, lo and behold, I'll run a buck here, it turns around and just beelines directly for my tree. So he turned about 35 yards, broadside shot, shot him walking. He went about 35 yards, bounced off a tree, and fell over dead as a door now. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this bug is massive, like the mass on this bug is super impressive when you first see it. Jared Turner shot this 11 point in Sandlack County, 173 and quarter inches. Sandlack County. In the crossbow during archery season. How did that all pan out for you? Well, actually, hey, I was sitting out in the shack and I was Brad, thinking about Sandlack. Uh, I walk in my hunt usually. And this year I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit. And I'm going to force myself to sit. And then about an hour before dark, I looked across the bean field and I saw him without binoculars coming. And I was like, ah, oh, I think I'm going to try, you know, meet him halfway. Oh, nice, nice. And I did. And uh, when I got to where I thought he was going to be, I looked around the, uh, the ditch and I saw him like uh, 40, 50 yards coming at me. And uh, I just laid down in the bean field on my stomach. And he ended up walking out in front of me at like 15 yards. So, and then I couldn't breathe. So I'm trying to picture the beans were still up? No, 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 they already harvested them. So I in an open field. That is insane. So you're able to pull off a good shot, obviously. Um, I think the fact that I was couldn't breathe, uh, 
and he came out a lot closer than I thought. I ended up shooting him high. I hit him in the spine, and he dropped right where he stood. Uh -huh. Sand Lake County buck right there, hog. Look at the massive one up there right now. That buck related to mine. I'm going to see where he got that at. This is an 184-inch monster wow. from Lapeer County. Shot with a shotgun. Dennis Colmer. Dennis, this is a huge buck. Uh, tell me the story. What happened? Well, we noticed it in the 2021, you know, my wife just 180 inch. 180 plus inches, I should say. So here comes Santa County Giant. Yeah. That's the way you He also saw it late early in November and uh, didn't get a track in it. It was too far with the boat. And, uh, so Saturday on the 19th of November, you know, I was in my blind. I went in the swamp, you know, I've never been here. I got in really early. Another one come from a bedding area. Daylight, you got daylight hit. The action started running in, the, in front of me and I. This guy here was sleeping from behind me. I didn't have no idea. 180 plus inch box, something else. On the near front. It has to be close to 200. 190s. Wow. All right, this is our last and biggest buck of the night. We got Patrick Conklin and his son Chase up here. Chase is holding the buck for his dad. Patrick, you shot this buck 198. Yeah, gross holy score. cow. 198 inches, 23 score. Jeez, 198. Washtenaw County with your 450 Bushmaster on opening day. Tell me what happened. Well, the story kind of started the night before. I was deciding on where we were going to go sit. Um, Chase was trying to talk him into going. Mama gave him the choice of missing either opening day or Friday. We're heading down to Ohio for the youth hunt, and he decided, uh, kind of had a game plan put together, and he decided last minute he wasn't going to skip opening day. He wanted to wait and miss school Friday. So it kind of threw off my game plan a little bit, and uh, that. Uh, we also had east winds that morning, so kind of went to a spot I wasn't anticipating hunting at all with an east wind. Plan was to go in there in the morning and maybe hunt till like nine o'clock, and then move into a deeper spot in the woods where we could see more deer. So uh, went into this spot. Chase actually hunted there with a bow a few times earlier in the week when we had some east winds, and uh, got in there early and was sitting there waiting, just kind of leaning up against a tree, heard the neighbor shoot, kind of looking in that direction. Nothing came. Nothing came. And uh, just leaned back against the tree, just enjoying the sounds of the morning coming alive. And looked to my right, there's just a huge deer standing there, about 100 yards away, CRP, a couple of models out there. And uh, he just stood there like a, like a statue and put my binocs up and really couldn't see a whole lot. He wasn't moving, he was just kind of staring a little bit, a little bit left, a little bit right, not moving. Stood there for three or four minutes. All right, wait, so you didn't know he was this big by watching him? No, opening morning, we were in Washington County, it was overcast, it was supposed to be kind of snow and it just buttered rain that morning a little bit. So it was really overcast, it was, again, first light about 7 o'clock, 7.05, and so it was hard to see anything. I, I, he was walking uh, per perpendicular to me, all I could see was the left side, so I just knew he had a few nice times, but didn't know how big he was. Couldn't see it. This was really dark, so it just disappeared, you couldn't see it. And uh, he finally stepped in, took a couple steps forward into an opening and looked away from me. And when I saw how wide he was and all the length, I just knew I was going to shoot him. I was just waiting for the opportunity. And a few minutes later, he gave me that chance. And I took a shot and he pounded it off. It looked like he didn't get hit, just three or four bounds and disappeared into a clump of autumn olive that's an old horse pasture, so it's really overgrown. So I texted my wife and I said, hey, I think I just shot a nice 10 point. And uh, cause Chase had seen a ton of point there a week, that week prior. And my nephew Brandon, who's out here, was with me hunting that day as well. And I said, hey, I think I just shot a nice 10 point. Like, what do you mean, you think? I said, well, it didn't look hit. And so, of course, he wouldn't get down and come help me. And, uh... This rack is so heavy when you help adjusting. 
So uh, uh, I said, well, I'm gonna go look for blood. You guys stay put, just, just don't get out of your tree. And so I called my uh, wife and said, hey, I'm gonna get down about nine if you wanna come meet me. She said, well, no, I'm not gonna meet you unless you find him. So got down at nine o'clock, went to look for blood, immediately found blood, looked up, and he was laying right there in the autumn miles where he did where, he, where, he, where I last saw him. So never come out the other side. And, uh, it's relayed. What was going through your mind when you put your hands on this thing? Well, so the first time I really knew what he was is when I walked up on him. My leg just turned to jello. I literally just stood there, hunched <laughs> over, couldn't move. Um, if anybody's scared of heights, you know how your legs feel like they're a thousand pounds and you know you can't hardly move. That's what I felt like. So I called my wife, frantic. She's like, "What's your deal? What's wrong?" I'm like, "I just shot the biggest buck in my life. She's like, it's a ten point." And I'm like, "He's not a ten point." She's like, "Well, how big is he?" I said, "I don't know. I haven't counted him." I said, "He's got a ton of points, way more than 10. And so she drove over and. We just sat there and enjoyed the moment. Everybody else was still hunting. Nobody knew how big he was because I just texted all my buddies saying, I think I shot a ton point. So then the party started. We started cruising around to different places. Went to our local wow. bar and hung them up there. And thought we were going to have a beer and move on. Well, there was just a crowd for about an hour and a half, two hours. So we ended up staying there for quite a while. <laughs> the buck made nice. you famous. Well, that's a buck of a lifetime for sure, I'd say. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. It's been pure luck just being in a, a spot that I hadn't really hunted all season, a weird spot, but just love it. Wow. We are going to get tired of holding that one. Phew. Damn. I wouldn't.